Oh, it's getting better every day, you know. Uh, probably going to have his cast on maybe two more weeks and then kind of go from there. But. Does it affect you? Not as much as I thought it would, you know. Uh, just kind of getting used to back to playing with a cast. You know, I went through spring with one, so kind of familiar with it already, but I just got to get back used to having it on my hand all the time. I guess Coach says even though obviously the scoreboard was a little bit lopsided, he was really proud of the way that you guys came out in the second half and played. What does that mean to you guys, knowing that Coach is this most confident and has so much hope moving forward in the season? I guess it kind of shows that we didn't necessarily – like there was a point there where we could have just given up and uh, just said, all right, we already lost this one. Let's go ahead and focus on next week, you know. But as a team, we kind of came together and we didn't want that viewpoint going on to the next game. And so we kind of fought back and – played to the best of our ability that second half. And even though, like you said, the score wasn't what we wanted it to be, our effort level was where we wanted it. So, As a veteran guy, winning at home is extremely important. Coach even just touched on that. How important is this game on Saturday? And what are you telling these guys in order to make this a win? I will obviously know it's homecoming. You never want to lose your homecoming to start off with. But uh, I think this game is just as important as any other game in the rest of our schedule, obviously. It, they're all conference games coming up, and if we want to be where we want to be at the end of the season, we, it starts this week, and we have to turn around, obviously, coming off a game like we just played and losing a game earlier in the season that we could have won, that we have to get this win under our belt, and we have to perform at the level that the coaches expect us to play at and that we expect ourselves to play at. And so that kind of goes into our pr preparation for this week and to, I guess, be 100% on everything in practice so that we can be 100% in the game. With practice this week, what are you guys looking to, uh, I guess, fix coming off this weekend? Uh, well, I think up front, I know we got to get more pressure on the quarterback and uh, just help our guys out on the backside and not put them in stressful situations where they have to cover guys for too long. As you know, we had some, a lot of plays made in the passing game that they got on us. And I guess if we help out up front, it helps out on the backside too. So it's kind of, it's not their fault, you know, it's our fault too. And that's how I see it. So. What's the biggest What's the biggest threat that Otto has um, on the offensive side? I remember last year they were really big up front and strong up front, so I'm sure they will be this year too. Uh, I haven't really gotten into the film yet. I'll start that this afternoon. But from what I've heard, they do have a high-powered offense, so and they've been making a lot of plays in the passing game, which is something that obviously we've struggled at. So we'll have to improve on that this week if we want to have a win this weekend. Uh, overall thoughts of. Uh, this past weekend's game? Uh, just that we came out flat, real flat. Uh, I guess we let the stage of the game get to us and uh, just came out flat. Uh, but coach challenged us at halftime, and we, I feel like as a team, as a whole, we came out and answered the challenge that he set for us. What does it mean to you guys as players, knowing obviously the scoreboard was a little bit lopsided? But Coach still has so much confidence in you guys, and he's truly proud of the way you played in the second half. What does that mean to you guys personally? It means a lot that uh, he's not giving up on us, that he, he won't give up on, give up on us at any point in the game. Uh, it was 38-0 at halftime, and he came in. He didn't, he didn't, like, you know, get too angry. He was just like, this is on y'all. Um, you just got to focus up, man up, and uh, finish the game. You don't want to be looked at like quitters. And that's what our goal was, to go out in the second half and not quit and just go out and finish and show that we can play with whoever. How important is this weekend's game going back to conference play and, and, and winning, especially at home after dropping the one against South Alabama a couple weeks ago? How important is this weekend? It's very important, um, mostly because it's conference and we, we need to get back at least even in conference right now. Um, and it's very important to win at home because, I mean, that's your home turf. You really don't like losing. Uh, the loss at, from of South Alabama is still pretty salty in our mouth right now. So uh, it'd be good to get a win and get that taste out. Talk a little bit about Dontrell and, and him coming in in the second half and, and making a lot of plays for this team. What have you seen out of him? Uh, is it, that's just what Dontrell does. I mean, even in practice, he'll make – even when the, it looks like there's nothing there, he'll always find some way to, like – squiggle out of the backfield and pick up five or six here and that that becomes big in offense uh plus plays no negatives like uh he 
can really get out of the pocket very easily when it collapses. And uh, he's he's been steadily improving all spring, all summer, all fall camp, and uh, <clears throat> he just shined when it was his turn to shine. All right, uh, coach really praised you and, and Clark for your performance on Saturday. You guys are veteran guys on this team. How important, even if you're not catching the ball, is it for you guys to step up? What did you guys do differently that really showed to coach? Um, I don't know if we've done anything differently. Um, it's just, you know, we're, the inside receivers, you know, they have to be able to block because, uh, you know, the runs usually come in our way. And so for us, we have to always give uh, maximum effort and do what we're coached to do blocking wise. How important is this Saturday's game with getting back into conference play and getting back to even in on the in the record in conference play? I think it's very important, especially just uh, coming off this uh, you know the tough schedule that we've had so far. Um, hopefully, we can get some momentum going, you know, in conference and uh, get a win this Saturday. What are you guys looking to improve on and fix uh, this week in practice? Um, offensively, we just need to fix. Uh, you know, we've had some. A little some missed assignments and stuff like that. We need to get those corrected. Uh, catching the ball, I think we've had uh, probably the most drops we've had in a while, um, and just connecting with the quarterbacks and stuff like that. What have you seen out of Idaho so far um, on defense? Um, I, we haven't. We we're starting to watch them today. Uh, we haven't watched them yet, but I know from last year. I know they played tough and they're they were uh, hard nosed and they they really ran to the ball. Uh, can you talk a little bit about Dontrell Pruitt coming into the game um, and having the impact that he that he had? Yeah, he did. He did a great job. I know. Um, you know, they don't. Him and Dallas don't really get that many reps in practice. So uh, for them to come in, both they both played really well. Uh, just coming in and stepping in for Silvers.